to a new video if you're new here my name is Anushka so today I'm just getting ready to go out we're gonna have a cute little lunch um and going to central a bit oh my god guys I know I've been going out so much but I need to like settle down now I need to go into hibernation for like a month or so because girl has been doing way too much but yeah me and my sister we're just gonna try and go to this pasta place we'll see how it goes but i will be vlogging so make sure to subscribe so you can just stay tuned to see those today we're actually on day five of the reviews i can't believe i pulled through i mean i didn't post every day before we jump into the video i'm gonna do post notification shout out and today's one's gonna go to Kyra Williams so thank you so much for your sweet comment I really appreciate it and if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so by the way I got this top from Zara and I love it today we're actually reviewing the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude True to Skin and Natural Glow Foundation I actually saw this on Moni May's stories she was wearing it and it looked so flawless and I think um, I, she had a really good code so it really tempted me to get this guys because you guys know I love my luminous silk foundation so I don't know I'm just hoping this goes well because I'm going out and after that Milani situation I'm scared this says true to skin I love that it has a natural glow literally cannot wait I got the shade 8.5 these are £32 but they are on sale actually at the moment so definitely keep your eye out because they do there are some like codes that you can use and they usually go on sale on the website it says that it's a hybrid foundation that instantly refreshes your complexion while providing deep hydration for a natural glow it provides the skin with hydrating benefits it's got hyaluronic acid and glycerin to provide the skin with hydration throughout the day the formula is lightweight it has a fresh texture which allows the skin to breathe it has buildable coverage um and comes in 24 shades 24 shades is not bad i mean there's always room for improvement there i'm looking at the darker shades and i feel like there could that, that, there could be a bit more to be honest putting you nice and close up I'm filming in my kitchen because I just wanted to change the environment a bit. I feel like the past few videos have just been in my living room. Um, let me know if I should get my backdrops back in because I do miss them. Like I miss the pure white backdrop or even the colours. I feel like I could have gone a little bit lighter. This is definitely more on the warmer side. But we can make it work. It says it's buildable, so I really want to see if it really is. I mean, it's definitely very glowy. Like, this is with nothing. This is with the foundation. So, yeah, that blended really nicely. But I'm liking how it's sitting on the skin. To be honest, it's sitting really well. It's just very glowy. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, guys, that is my makeup done. I put a bit of bronze on my chest to make it match because it is a bit on the warmer side. So I would say if you're my shade, maybe like shade down like 8 or 7.5. Um, but yeah, it looks really flawless. The thing that's bugging me at the moment though are like my two scars and I've got one massive spot coming out here and one big one coming out here. You guys have been stressed. Uh, is is that is that a muscle I see? I mean, I get so gassed when I see some movement. <laughs> Anyways, back to the foundation. I really like it so far. It looks really flawless and um, lightweight. Um, the only thing is, it is a bit sticky, and I feel like this will transfer. Yeah, I might set my face a little bit more just to lock everything in place. This is definitely more on the glowy side. So I have dry skin, that's perfect. But if you have oilier skin, just be aware of that, and you might need to like powder more it is now 9 30 a.m i'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and we'll see how this looks by the way every time i wear my eye this eyeshadow a lot of you guys ask what i'm wearing i literally reach out for these every time i go out these are the hourglass scattered light glitter eyeshadows and this one's in the shade vivid blaze and burn are like an another few of my like favorite shades so yeah i always reach out for these they're just really long wearing and they're easy and they look beautiful so definitely recommend them i feel like you can see more like the foundation like right now because my light was too warm but yeah this is my skin i have tanned quite a bit guys look at that so yeah i will see you later on all right guys it's now 6 15 p.m it's actually so sunny outside i'm actually so shocked but yeah i've been out and so far my lipstick has completely come off but um 
yeah so far the foundation looks pretty good if i'm honest it has come off around my mouth area and i think it's because of the mask because everywhere else it's held up pretty well i wouldn't say that it like wowed me but it didn't give me smile lines it didn't make my skin dry it didn't do anything funny it looks pretty good so i would give it like a 7 out of 10 i'm just not wowed by it i'm not i'm not like wow my skin looks amazing you know so yeah i'll probably give it a 7 out of 10 but it did hold up pretty well throughout the day even though i was taking my mask off so many times and putting it back on and yeah this is how it looks in daylight But yeah just to summarize it's definitely glowy it definitely gives medium coverage it's low wearing i would say for like what it is like true to skin foundation um would i go buy this again i don't think so yeah i'm not gonna say this is something i wouldn't wear but i wouldn't repurchase basically i would wear it again but like if i'm going out out like i definitely wouldn't reach out for this but for every day it's not too bad so yeah thanks so much for watching guys make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video